What's up everybody? My name is Ryan Krause and you're watching the Crucible Coach Works YouTube channel. Today we're continuing our slant nose build. Um, since we last filmed, Logan took the day off for some reason and I, I say some reason like he's not allowed to take a day off. But anyway, I went ahead and I already boxed in this side like I did in the other video on, on a Saturday. Um, there's a little bit of adjustments I want to do, but today I'm going to work on welding these together and getting it to one solid like rocker piece. Um, and then I'm going to do the same on the other side and make the uh, end cap on the rear fit on the other side of the car. But before I do that, I have to adjust the tub that goes in the inside of the quarter panel. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Then after that, we'll kind of figure out where we're going with the direction of the, getting this thing ready to paint. So yeah, we'll keep on moving and uh, see what we can work out today. I always do that. I always. doing here is I have the rocker panel Clicoed up and it's like it has a little bit of tension in it so I have the Clicos holding down any spots I need to be exactly where they're at basically then I'm using the slapper it to basically cause the panel to relax to where it wants like into the shape I need it to be because um, it's like 95% there so rather than pulling it off putting it on pulling it off putting it on trying to shrink stretch shrink stretch I can kind of massage it to where it needs to be and it should be okay
forgot to put a dust mask on. If you're watching this, wear a dust mask when you sand metal. All right, so Malcolm Binden asked the question, uh, he was wondering if when we weld the new rocker panels on, if we'll have access to rust proof the backside of the panels. The answer is yes, I will be treating the backside of every panel on this vehicle. We'll drill holes and cavity wax the inside or be able to squeeze, squirt it in from different angles. So yes, we will absolutely be doing that. Um, Todd at Stone City Outlaw asked what our panels are made with gauge wise. Um, he asked if it's 20 gauge. We're actually using 19 gauge. Most of the body panels in this car are 20 gauge, I believe. Um, and I prefer to work with 19, so I've been using 19. So, you know, they're one gauge thicker, but weight wise, I get this question a lot too. This is the general, general question, like how heavy the car is going to be. Weight wise, it's almost negligible. I weighed one of these quarter panels on a scale, and it was only like three pounds more than the original quarter panels, which are cut off the car. So, it's not a time attack car, so we're not really worried about that. But, like, even the rockers, they're very light. So, yeah, we're using 19 gauge, and weight is not really an issue here. So the rockers are now complete, and I also made the passenger side like fender well tub fit a little bit better. Um, so what's up next is I need to make sure that the rear quarter panels are both fully symmetrical. Um, they're like 95, 98% there. So I got just a little tweaks there. Um, I got to cap off one of the ends and basically get them ready for the weld on. Um, and then also the front bumper needs a lot of attention. So I'm not sure which will be coming up next, but either way, keep an eye out for that video will be dropping soon. Uh, make sure you guys keep subscribing and liking and you know sharing this with your friends. And also make sure you're dropping comments of any questions or input that you have on the build. I will try to touch on those comments um, either by messaging back or by you know talking about them in videos. Um, we're gonna have a video coming out soon that's a little more instructional on some other fabrication things, and I'll also probably answer more questions there as well. So stay tuned, guys. We got more stuff coming your way, and uh, yeah, thanks for following along. Later.